Hey Vito. Hey. What a marvelous airplane you got. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Poor Mike. I'm just teasing Mike. Uh, anyway, I got the free wing seagull out again because uh, we got that kind of day. And maybe we'll get lucky and get some of these poppers over here to drift our way. Uh, but I brought three packs this morning and then back to household chores again this afternoon. Uh, Vito has got his apprentice about, or his apprentice, his timber about together and uh, he's going to join me out there. Okay, hold tight. Test our controls here a little bit. No, I didn't like that thump, but we'll give it a shot. I was a little nervous on throwing these things. We'll try to clear our hat this time, right? Wait a minute, wind just changed. Wind changed on me at the last second, just before I tossed. Son of a buck. Did you see that, Vito? I mean, just about to toss right into the wind, and it did a st like a 45 on me. Oh, holy cow. Unreal. And she's gliding a little bit better, too. That's what I want to do to see if I can get up there and pop a couple of these low flying clouds here. Like, look at this one, it's going to drift right over our. Some altitude here. Glide a little bit. Got him. Two minute fifteen left on this. Like I said, it's an old battery. I might get more, especially with glide time. Now this is without a gyro guys. I did bring a gyro for one of the other packs here to get a little bit windier. I'm tempted to put it back in there because I did have this plane set up for a gyro once. And there's two of us. There goes Vito. Try to stay out of his way. Uh oh. Uh oh. I saw that. Something happened there. Right there. Right in the other side of that tree, man. It's not my day. <laughs> oh, that sucked. I, I hope the camera... I, know, I, I tried to catch it with the camera as it go, went down, but you were uh, definitely in a... Like you yeah, we were definitely in a downward position. The wind's playing tricks. I could feel it with this glider, big time. wind just pushed me right back. See now with, with, with a gyro that wouldn't have happened guys. I'm having to go up, down, up, down just to maintain some kind of flight here. got away from me quick when I stopped looking at it. The wind just turned it right around.
tip in the tr in, in the wind, guys, you should really always fly out in front of you. Should something happen, you lose power, whatever, the plane has a tendency to come back to you. Like right now, you can tell I'm being pushed over by the wind. It's that strong, and that plane's almost going nowhere. Do a high-speed pass. That's a glider. <laughs> How you doing, Vito? Make sure we didn't lose him in the corn. Let's see how well we can land this right here on our feet. I don't think it's gonna go that way for me. Go around. into the wind this time. And this is not going to be an easy landing. A gyro, without a gyro, this thing's really getting tossed around. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> and it slammed down from above. All right, let's go find Vito. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, they sent out the troops. He's over there. Well, Vito, jump up and down. The chopper's looking for you. All right, hold tight, guys. Let's go find our friend. There he is. He's emerged from the tree. Is it still in one piece? Soft, soft crash? I wonder what happened. And you lost part of the prop, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mine's, both of mine have been repaired. I used there too, yeah. yeah. Both, both sides of mine. I gotta push this back in. I don't know if it's yeah. gonna go back in or not. It will. In the flat. Once you take the wing off, the thing will just come apart and you pop it right back in. Use foam tack glue, it seems to be yeah. about the best. I've been using Gorilla Glue. That works good too. Yeah, this is Gorilla Glue and it has, that's why this part didn't break. <laughs> <laughs> it gets stronger after every whack. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if Gorilla Glue gets brittle or not, but uh, foam tack stays just a little bit, you know, I, I don't know. it doesn't get brittle. I just don't want to so it'll take an impact and still hang on. <laughs> When it dries, it just expands. I crashed a, a jet. That's what Gorilla Glue does. It just expands. Yeah, yeah that right. sounds cool. Yeah. I have to give it a try. I haven't tried the Gorilla Glue yet. It just takes forever. But I glued a, a hundred pieces of foam back together on a jet, and then I crashed it again. And when I went out to the field, I was able to pick it up pretty much with one piece, and they all just kind of string cheese together. <laughs> That's never happened. Foam tech works that way. If you line the inside of your fuse with the foam tech glue, and you crash your plane, chances are every piece will just line right back up like a like a puzzle. This one's been really good. No. Yeah, we'll have to play it back and see what happened. And then you lost one of your slats. You can have mine, I haven't even installed mine. I thought he was looking for you. <laughs> well, the only thing that was on my mind was I don't want to get a tech. I didn't want you to disappear back there too long. No, I, I knew where I was. I yeah, you went went in in a real easy landmark, right over the side, oh, right over the top of that tree. It's talking on to the me far now. side. Uh huh. You're close enough to your radio. You left your radio on. Yeah. So it would talk to you. Smart man. Next time, put the radio in the shade though. Is it pretty pretty warm? I don't know what happened. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. You know, it, it's really windy right now, and you know, I don't know how long you've been flying, but it happens to all of us, buddy. Don't feel bad. Oh no, I'm not. I mean, 
This is actually an easy repair, so. It is, I've, I've repaired a couple. Mine and, and Mike's was, was destroyed. Unfortunately, I was flying it at the time. But, uh, so I felt a little compelled to fix it for them. But it, they do, they take to, they take to the foam tack glue like, uh, like nobody's business. Yeah. And the plastic CA works really great on a, on anything plastic. I even glued a prop back together and flew the damn thing until the other one came in. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Safely, of course. Made sure nobody was standing by the sides or, you know, I was I was behind the plane. So, all right, but maybe it's because I changed the axle. Uh, you're not really supposed to change too much expo. You should never go over a certain point. I don't like to go over. I think I said 30 it was recommended. Don't go over 30 on Expo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll shift everything back to the Yeah. I bet you if I fly it out, I'll probably fly it normal. This plane here particularly is uh, specific and it flies great if you set it up exactly per the manual. And oh. since you gotta replace the prop, throw an APC uh what is it, 12? They got a 12 4 on there, but you put the 12 6 on there, you'll love it. Okay. And playing lift right up. <laughs> it'll do a, it'll sit there and hover. <laughs> All right. I saw the little one. He takes it like a man, guys. Catch you later. Signing out.